Okay, I'm going to talk about the Dakota Alerts, the MERS uh, driveway alarm system. Um, I do have one installed and I have another video on the Homestead security. I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail onto the system because I know um, some of you, are, a lot of people have been interested in that and uh, kind of show you exactly what it looks like out of the box. I ordered another one because you have uh, multiple zones you can put this alarm system you can do and your receiver has it transmits multiple different ways so your receiver will pick up the different sensors and you could name them different things so you could have alert zone one alert zone two you know and so on so uh, I'll show you what's in the box okay hopefully you can see this uh, let me unpack it just a little bit this is the unit. You can kind of see the, the size of it. It's hardwired, unfortunately, so it comes like this. But this tube is uh, what you need to bury parallel to your driveway. And then you have the controller box right here. And this box is where you put the antenna on. And it's kind of a, yeah, you can kind of see it though. And you get a pretty good amount of uh, cord with it, so. But this thing uh, detects metal. It transmits, my driveway is a quarter mile, it transmits easily a quarter mile. But uh, the other updates I have, I converted mine to uh, solar. I will put a uh, image photo of the, uh, how I rigged it to solar, because it normally uses uh, six one, two, three batteries. And when you do that, they last maybe three, four months and they go dead. And what I did was, there is a uh, battery on eBay, or not on eBay, Amazon called the Mighty Max, it's a little 12 volt battery. Uh, we use those in our solar fence chargers. So what I did was I put that 12 volt battery out at the end of the driveway in a box, just uh, one of those plastic ammo cans, drilled a hole, ran a grommet, rubber grommet, wire into the 12 volt. From that to the plastic box right here, inside of there and clipped it with alligator clips to the uh, inside where the battery goes. I'll show you a schematic photo because it's where the batteries go in there. there. It holds six batteries, but you need to only clip onto two, two different leads on there and it just bypasses everything. And then I went to Harbor Freight. They have a small solar panel that's got a built-in like uh, overcharge protection so it will not overcharge your battery. I have that down at the end of the driveway that goes to the 12 volt battery. So that keeps the battery topped off. And then the wire from the battery to the receiver. And I've had mine out there for over, well over a year now, probably two years now, so it's solar powered. Don't even worry about it. Winter, summer, whatever, I've never had it go dead. So uh, I would highly recommend that. And then with the kit, you do get, I got one right here. But uh, I'll just show you the other box. I got another one that's empty. You get the receiver. Uh, this is the, they call it the M538-BS. It's your home receiver. It's, uh, you plug it in, you select your channels, the same channels that you select on the actual black box that's at the end of your driveway. Put the channels into here. And then you do select on your black box, like is it zone one, zone two, whatever, but then you have to select your MERS frequency. And then you have to put that frequency in here. The only thing that's different on each of your sensors is the, uh, the, the alert notice. You know, do you want alert one, alert two, alert three, you know, but then you've got this thing. And this has a pretty good range. I do have, a, I put one of these, I've got one in this little building I'm in right now. This is my little studio shed. If you ever see the, the video is up the little shorts of that barn being moved. We're in that barn right now. Uh, it's pouring outside, it's raining, it's, it's just nasty. Nice and quiet in here, very well insulated. Um, they do sell a handheld receiver. I have one. They're like $60. They're not very good. Uh, I left one in the rain for like an hour and it just completely killed it. I tried putting in a bag of rice for a week and when it, it still does not work. Since then, I did buy, I um, oh, didn't buy, I've had them already, but some of those Beofang, the cheap little $20 radios, um, you can go to Chirp, 
the software for those Biofang radios and then add into there the MERS frequencies that you use on your Dakota alerts and then it receives the same. The only thing I haven't been able to get to work uh, with this thing, with this uh, receiver, there's actually a push to talk button. So say you're home and then your significant other has the handheld from Dakota alerts, there's a push to talk button. You can talk to each other via this and the handheld radio. Unfortunately, when you have the Biofang, I haven't got it to work. You can receive on the Biofang, but you can't transmit back to this. Uh, I'm not sure. I've been trying to figure that one out. Maybe somebody knows what to do, but uh, that's, you know, but like I said, this alarm system is just uh, great. But what I did add for, I've got the one in here, I've got the one in the house, and then in my metal pole building, I have one of these in there. It would not pick up from the end of my driveway. So what I did is I went on eBay and there's a few different sellers, but there's a few different sellers selling custom uh, MERS antennas. So I purchased one of those and it was relatively inexpensive, like 20, 30 bucks. And then my outbuilding has a small radio tower on it anyways. I ran the antenna to the top that I got off of eBay with some coax wire and then plugged it into this receiver and it works fine. It's got a really far range. I think the my driveway curves, there's trees, and, and a quarter mile is nothing. I mean, it picks up the signal great. I've used the handheld receiver to the other end of my property and I still pick up the driveway alarm. So it's at a really good range. Um, the big benefits of this alarm system, as I mentioned in the other video, it does not detect infrared or movement. So you bury this in your driveway, it's underground. You can run the wire, it's pretty far. What I did is I ran the wire uh, quite a distance off the driveway, up a tree, and then put the box on the tree. And then took, took some camouflage paint and spray painted it. And then kind of the same thing with the solar panel, it's down low. But what this detects is metal. So I've had dogs with collars get triggered the alarm. I've had, you know, somebody walking down with like a, a tool belt and like hammer and tools. Somebody with steel toe shoes has triggered it. Uh, the main one is cars. Cars trigger it. Uh, but, you know, like random you know, coyote in the, in the night, it will not trigger it. You know, the deer crossing your driveway will not trigger it. The temperature changing, like the uh, infrared alarms when the sun changes and you got that line of shade and no shade and it hits the alarm and it, the old alarm that I had was infrared and it would trigger off and on constantly when the sun was shifting and the trees were moving. So this is by far the best alarm system I found for really long driveways in rural conditions that have no power at the end of their driveway. You know, if you've got electric down at the end of your driveway and, and you could probably put some something different and probably possibly better. But uh, these things you could even put in areas in your property, like just ATV trails and stuff like that. And you want to know if people are trespassing um, and it would detect, you know, the four wheeler or a tractor, or, you know, maybe somebody uh, hunting in your property. It'll detect a rifle. I've tested mine walking with the rifle hanging down, you know, off to the side. Sometimes if it's slung on your shoulder and it's, you know, synthetic stock, it might not trigger, but most of the time it will. Uh, it's pretty good. It doesn't need to be right on. You don't need to, where, where this is buried, you don't need to have it, you know, because you, you got to look at the instructions again, but you, you bury this fairly deep next to the driveway. So it runs, like I said, parallel to the driveway and it, it works really good. It's weather tight. I was very worried when I installed mine that squirrels were going to chew the wire. Um, what I did also was I took some heavy plastic tubing and I put it over the wire. I put a slit down it and then put it over the wire and then I screwed in some uh, zip tie holders into the tree. Uh, it's been like that for a few years. The tree doesn't seem too affected. It's still alive. I did have a not sure what it was either an animal or a person like run into it and one of the, the wire was yanked out once, but uh, I'm assuming it was an animal, but because it wasn't like totally destroyed, but something just yanked the wire slightly and pulled the clips out inside the black box, but didn't pull them completely out. Like somebody was trying to destroy it. Like maybe like a, I don't know, raccoon or something in the middle of the night ran into it or was like tugging on it, trying to see what it was. But uh, yeah, totally recommend this alarm. Not affiliated with them at all. I don't get these for free. Unfortunately, the only negative I've found with this system is the price. I don't even want to know what the price is now because everything's more expensive now. But 
I love this thing because like I said, my driveway is a quarter mile long and I, the thought of I'm watching the those videos in Israel where those townspeople just got, you know, ransacked by these, you know, savages coming in there. This gives you at least a heads up that somebody's coming down your driveway. It's better than, you know, no warning at all. You know, and if you have a really long driveway, it's great peace of mind. Um, I love it because I know when like UPS comes ahead of time, I know when, you know, somebody's coming down my drive, you know, you know, I do have some signs there, you know, that I, the classic sign that says uh, friends, deliveries, and uh, customers or something like that. And it says everybody else is trespassing. I have it a little bit further down my driveway because I, I want to let people at least turn around, you know, but, and that's why I put my driveway alarm not right at the end of the driveway because I didn't want uh, the mailman or things like that to trigger it. I put it, you know, maybe 20, 20 yards down the driveway. Give people, you know, and then you could even do at the bend in your driveway, you know, like further down, you know, you could do like alert zone one Somebody maybe is at the end of your driveway. Middle of your driveway, you could do alert zone two. That way you know, hey, this person's committed. They're coming all the way down my driveway. And you know, in the case of somebody, you know, middle of the night, that way you know, whoa, no, nope, somebody's not at the end of my driveway. They're, they're, coming, they're coming down the house. They're coming here. Gives you a, a little bit more a heads up. And it's, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good system, like I said. The only time we get false alarms, every once in a while when there's a lightning storm. Uh, sometimes something with the, I'm not, I'm not an electrician, something, maybe the electricity in the air or something, it, it triggers, we get some false alarms when there's lightning and lots of rain and like the ground is very wet. But other than that, uh, it detects, I would say 99% of the time, minus those few times over the year when we have those weird uh, weather conditions. So, and it might've been my installation. Maybe I put it in a spot that gets saturated with water but uh, like I said, totally recommended. Uh, I think a must have on the homestead just to give you that early morning and uh, you know, you don't want somebody coming on your property in the middle of the night. But uh, hopefully this is helpful. And like I said, uh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, thanks. Yeah, you can see the alarm going alert off right now. One. Had to get some metal down there, alert but... One. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you the inside of the box and how you can hook it up to the solar. <laughs> this is the Harbor Freight solar panel that I was talking about. Down in here is the battery box where I just put a 12 volt small battery and then ran a grommet And the alarm is going off because I'm probably got steel toe shoes on too. But uh, this is the protective plastic that you can see in there. Um, this is actually for the MERS ground cable itself. I need to put the, this is actually an old speaker wire that I did for 12 volt, but I'll show you the inside here. And then if you can see there that this top lead right there is the 12 volt positive. And then this other one down there is the negative and that's all you need to convert it to uh, 12 volt. And that's it. Uh, Biofang radio, I've got mine programmed. I don't know if you can read it, but it actually says uh, GRMS4 and then driveway. You can set the channel. And this is what I use. Uh, these radios are about $25 versus the $60 radios that the Dakota Alert sells. And these are, you know, should have one anyway, so.